In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the amazing program Stellarium Web, which will turn your browser into a planetarium. Uh, so when you load the page, this is what you'll see. You can minimize this window, but before I do, I just want to remind you that the Stellarium is also available on mobile devices. The first thing you need to do is make sure Stellarium knows where you are located. So I've set it to show the sky in Sherbrooke, which is relatively close to where I live. Uh, you could search for a location, move the pin, or you could use auto location and it should find where you are using your IP address. Make sure it's close enough, but it doesn't have to be the exact street or even city. It could just be a nearby city and it would work. And also, please note that I am recording this video in March of 2025. So it will show the sky tonight for me, but the sky might be different when you watch this video. So this is a time window. We'll use it uh, a lot. I just want to show you the view first. We're facing north. You can move around and look west and south and so on. You can see in this case the moon. You can see some stars, some planets. You can click on the star and get some information. For example, the star Betelgeuse is um, close to 500 light years away. That's an interesting fact. You can check and compare it with another star, for example, Sirius, which is just over eight light years away, so much closer to us. In fact, Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. You can also see planets, for example, Jupiter. I could center it on Jupiter and zoom in. And then I can see the disk of Jupiter with its cloud bands and its four largest moons. So there is a lot you can do. Uh, you can also see a lot of artificial satellites. There are unfortunately more and more, so you will see many of them in your field of view as I'm seeing right now. And now the time window, uh, you can set it for any day or time. Uh, you could look for tonight, obviously, but you could go on your birthday, uh, see how it changes um, as the time goes by. For example, I can drag here and see how everything moves from east to west when I do this throughout the night. You can also change from one day after the other and see how things change or one month after the other. Um, let's go when it gets dark and so on. So you can really play with the time. You can always come back to real time with this button right here, but it is very interesting. I find to uh, be able to look at how things move over the night. You can also look around uh, for example here you can put uh, i'm looking north i'm going to put the constellations these are the 88 western constellations you might recognize the big dipper right here which is actually part of ursa major the big bear there it is and this is the north star and something fun with the north star it always points north so that as things move in the sky you can see that everything appears to move around polaris if you get into daytime, something you can do is remove the atmosphere and you would be, you will be able to see, for example, the sun and what's in the sky at the same time as the sun. If the earth had no atmosphere, we would see some stars and some planets uh, in the sky during the daytime. Some of the other options here at the bottom is also the night mode. Um, if you go outside, let's all come back to nighttime. Um, if we go outside with a mobile device, let's say that has Stellarium, make sure you set it to night mode. It won't affect your night vision as much, so you will see things better in the real sky. So have fun with Stellarium. It's a wonderful program to learn and discover the night sky, but don't forget to go outside and look at the real thing. The real sky is even better.